All right. Hi, YouTube. As requested, we're doing it right here. We are doing the overclock tier list. Look at all of these overclocks in the game. We're all gonna rent them from S being the best to D. Oh, fuck. My camera's in the way. I'm gonna have to move my camera, right? Oh. Uh, what do we start out with? Oh, the Cryo Midlets is literally the, 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 the first entry on my top 10 on YouTube. Very interesting. Uh, the Cryo Midlets, uh, where would I place this? As an overclock in itself, let me see here. I kind of hesitate between a B. I hesitate between B and something. Honestly, dude, I think a Cryo Midlets can sit as solid B in itself. I don't think I'm going to go with A because like it, we might change the like, position of like other stuff later. Because we'll see where, like, these guys are, and that'll be very interesting. Alright, Embedded Detonation. Okay, this is where I start, like, wait, where does this, like, what is that? I completely forgot where this is. Is this from the M1000? No, that's Electric Reload. That you to go. Embedded Detonation. Wait, oh, it's all from the same, okay, it's all from, it's first the Zukovs, then, okay, it's all the same guns, right? Uh, embedded Detonation, I don't know what it does, but I, I think, I know it's, I know it's garbage. <laughs> I know it's pretty bad. I mean, honestly, let's put it here. Gas Recycling is good, though. Gas recycling is also great. It's kind of the same tier as Crime Minutes. They both are really good. They they work really both well, honestly, on uh, on Zukovs. Like this just like ignores armor and just uh, ignores weak point damage. So it could just shoot anywhere and still do relatively good damage without blow through or anything. So it's quite fine. These are I put this on the same. Improve thermal efficiency. This is for the cryo cannon. Uh this is okay. Same. I'd say I'd put it in B. Like, it's a good one. It's a clean overclock. You can go wrong with that. Perfectly tuned cooler, though, is an A. 100%. Maybe an S? It's not like an S of an overclock, because it just adds flow rate. So, I mean, of course it's good, but it's not godlike, right? I think that's going to be the big difference between A and S right here. Next, though, flow rate expansion. That's the thing that a lot of people have been, like, telling me, like, yo, usually I use this also. Wait, no, I'm, I'm missing up with another... I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm missing up uh, with, a, with another overclock, I think from the flame overclock i think that's it but flow rate expansion like i think is another like cryo overclock which is like decent like semi-decent i'll put in b or c honestly but they're not bad see here will be like bad overclocks like just actually don't pick it it's bad i think so let's see here for ice spear uh ice spear has like one good use and it's in um it's in critical weakness with dreadnought elimination mission you can one shot a dreadnought with an ice spear so that's quite fun I think that's the only thing that saves it from D, because honestly, otherwise, it's just a C. It uses a lot of ammo. It's not a B. It's definitely not at this tier, for sure, for sure. This might be lower, though. Ice Storm. Ice Storm is good. I don't know if I'll put it in... I think I could put it Ice Storm in B. Ice Storm is good because what it does is, on speedrunning, or even, like, uh, in general, it, it just does massive damage, right? But, like, for, for Dreadnoughts, it just shreds them. It shreds Dreadnoughts without looking, like, front, back, weak spot, no weak spot, whatever. We use it a lot with status on speedrunning on Driller just to melt Dreadnoughts down. The only thing is, of course, you have no ammo. So, for, for speedrunning, it's fine because you just speedrun and then you get the ammo after. For regular play, be careful. I feel like it's, you know, it's a bit of an equivalent of Big Berta and, um... And how is it called? Yeah, just Big Berta on the Cryo Cannon. So, you know, I would put it, like, somewhere here. But Big Berta won't be a B, I think. Big Berta won't be a B. Snowball, I think I'll put it with Ice Spear. But, mm, yeah, I know a lot of people like this overclock because you can just, like, deal with Mactaras in one go. Just throw a Snowball and Mactaras are gone. It's like a Cryo Grenade for the for the Scout, but it's good. Honestly, I think if Ice Storm is at B, I think Snowball can be at B. Not around Ice Spear. I think, ah, is it really, though? Because, honestly, other than that, it's not that good, right? But it's... I'll see. Uh, I'll go in between what are the two. Let, let's keep it at B for now. It might go down later. It's right next to gas recycling. Yeah, I think we can put it here. I think we can put it here. Chain hits. Uh, wait, that's from the... Um, yeah, every chain... There's two chain hits in the game. There's like this one plus the other one with the bulldog, which is somewhere... Does it have the same logo? I don't think it does. Ricochet, it's called. See, it's, see there's two chain hits. But this one, yeah, since it's per gun, you can see how... Uh, like, yeah, but this one's from the Subara. Chain hit for the Sabata is... Uh, honestly, dude. I don't want to put it at C because it's not bad. But honestly, like, yeah. It, does, does, it doesn't do much good. Really. It really doesn't do much good. So, eh, let's put it at B for now. Because it's not... I mean, this is bad, right? This is A-OK. -okay, this is A-OK -okay good. Alright, that's how we'll do it. Homebrew powder uh, for the... Yeah, the same. That, that I'll put it in here. If she, uh, Actually, homebrew powder would be here and chain hit would be here. Because that's actually like alright, but that's really bad actually. Yeah, that, that's the, the how we're gonna put it. 
Oversized magazine. Oh boy, you're going all the way up here. This is so good. This is actually a great overclock. It it makes you have like so much more DPS in any situation that is just so it's so good. Like you get 22 ammo instead of uh, 17, I think. It doesn't look that that good on paper, but dude, when you're at 17 and you have that awkward reload that you wouldn't have had if you had 22, that's where it comes in. And I'll see. I've been used to playing with auto, with oversized magazine for so long now that I don't even realize I have it. And I don't even know what it would be like to go down to 17 again. You can even go up to 27 if you go for expanded mag, but I wouldn't recommend go that. It's not useful to have 27. 22 is fine with this overclock. Automatic fire on the on the, um, on the Subato again. This one is good. I'll put it probably at an A. The only reason why it's not an, like an S or so, this could probably be an S or whatever. The only reason why it's not like huge, it's because it's good at close range, but at... at I, honestly, the thing is, while I'm putting these guys in order of like, not how they perform, but how they are in a build or like in a situation, that's how I rate everything right here. I rate everything in a situation because honestly, automatic fire is huge. Like it's really great. It does max amount of damage and like it has a huge amount of DPS in like a close range. Like you absolutely shred and you do a lot of damage compared to like any other overclock, but it's crap at long range. It's terrible. It's really bad at long range. So that's why I I can't put it too high, but it's really, it changes your gun completely. And with the first time you have this, it's like, yo, this is so good. But it doesn't work against like Macteras, etc. And since your primary gun is either the, the cryo gun or the flamethrower, you don't really have much choice against Macteras than to go for the Sabata. And if you have automatic fire, you're kind of you're fucked, right? So that's why I put it here. Explosive reload. So this is on, wait. Yeah, so this is still on the, on the uh, Sabata? Cause wait, hold up. Where's the where's the M1000? Where's the M1000? Cause like there's, I feel like I'm going to look up some overclocks real quick. I saw magic bullet. Where's the over, uh, hover clock? Wait, there's like yeah, hover clock. It's right here. Electrifying reload and explosive reload. Honestly, explosive reload and like electrifying reloads are like same kind of stuff, right? They're like. They're, they're C or D, honestly, like, they're, uh, I don't know, man, I don't know how I would rank them, but it's, like, you, you, you probably never use it, honestly, I don't even think, I've used it, like, once just to try it, and, yeah, it was, like, uh, 500 of gameplay hours ago, I don't even remember when I hit it. Tranquilizer Rounds was alright, like, when I tried it, I played it for a few games, the thing with this overclock is, like, really, it, it's weird, it's weird to wrap your head around this, because, the thing is, uh, tranquilizer round is a support weapon, support overclock. What tranquilizer round, what tranquilizer round does is it has a fifty percent chance to stun your target on on weak spot hit, which is good. Honestly, it's usable. It's usable. You know, I I put it in B probably, because um the thing here is yeah, you can just like stun the target with this and do damage with like anything else, right? This is, like, if you play this, you're not going to spam your Subata like you used to. This is going to be, a, st a like, a proc stun. But the thing is, the thing why this overclock is irrelevant is because you can stun with your impact axe. And you have 8. I mean, sure, you have, and it's 100%. It's not 100% on the impact axe. I'm lying. But yeah, you can do this with the impact axe, do more damage, and still use your uh, Subata to do, like, side damage even more. So I'd go with a C. It's not a B, but it's a C for that reason. Energy rerouting for the EPC. This is like a, a solid B here, I think. Like this plus these two here are like solid Bs. They they serve like kind of the same purpose right here. Honestly, like the EPC... Wait, actually, like heat pipe could go... Should I go into A? I feel like A for a heat pipe is huge. Like honestly, the EPC isn't the gun that's going to like carry your whole like playthrough through Deep Rock Galactic, right? It's not going to carry your ass. It's just going to be like helpful here and there. That's why like... All of these like overclocks for the um, for the EPC are not like groundbreaking. So yeah, I was saying like these overclocks like they they're not like groundbreaking as maybe some of them here, but we'll get to them there. So yeah, heat pipe, magnetic cooling, they all serve the same purpose as be being good overclocks for uh, for a TCF shot and TCF builds. They they're good. They're pretty nice. Heavy hitter is the same. I mean, honestly, wait, where should I put a heavy hitter? The thing is, honestly, like, I'm not going to lie to you all. Like, I, I don't know, like, all of these overclocks. There are some that I never equipped in my entire life. So it's hard to get a good... You know what? I'm going to do a, a another chart right here. Wait, let's let's just say I don't know, all right? That, that'll be more relevant, right? Like, I don't know or NA. I, 
feel like that's fair for, for this category. All right, let's go for that. Um, so, because I there's something I know it's bad and stuff I don't know. It's it's like I, if it's bad or just I don't know. Like these guys, I really don't know. All right. Uh, so we have no Ds then. I mean, these are kind of bad, honestly. Like if I don't use it, I'm guessing it's bad, but I don't want to like, you know. I mean, who is literally a fucking like explosive reload main here? Come on, man. Maybe we'll rank these after. Like, we'll do a bit of search. We'll do it at the end. You know what? We'll just put them in the meantime. Persistent plasma on the um, on the EPC is all right, actually. It's not bad. It's not a D. I don't want to put it at B because I feel like... I don't know the drawbacks of this. I don't remember. But, like, I don't feel like that's why you're going to use the... Um, uh, that's not why you're going to use the EPC in the first place. To go for the persistent plasma... Plasma. It's good with the breach cutter for obvious reasons, but not as good on the uh, on the EPC. Might as well go TCF and actually go for that. So there you go. Stunner. What are we? Oh, is this the? Uh, oh, we're getting into the the Warthog. Warthog. I really don't play much of Warthog, honestly. Dude, in in one thousand hours of the game, I really should have like played more and like working um working on like doing more overclock like reviews and stuff, right? Maybe I'll do another like sh uh like tier list review later on when I have more info. Stunner overclock for the oh wait on the RG combo. That's for the uh, I've seen a uh, Lone XG review on this. He said it was bad, but it didn't look that bad. So I'm gonna put it in B because, like, you have more chance to like um, more chance to uh, like stun on uh, on like uh, reg regular hits. It's actually really good, interesting because it's a clean overclock. Maybe I'm thinking of another one. Uh, no, it's that one. It looks alright. You know what? Since I don't know, I might put it this one in B or C. I'm going to trust chat on that one. You know what? Because I think it's fine. I don't think it's like around persistent plasma. I think it's actually usable compared to the rest. Lightweight magazine. Um, yeah, that's good. That's really good. That almost goes into an A, right? That's like what everybody picks on the Warthog. I think uh, I think that's really good. Like I think that's like the pocket pick for every every Warthog main. It's like the, their pocket pick, I feel like. Next to magnetic palette alignment, this is like alright, it's semi decent. I won't say it's bad like like these guys. No, honestly, it's like alright. It's a good addition. You can use it, basically. It's gonna be uh standard for if you don't know what works better. Yeah, right. Yeah, it just works. Just like for the rest of these guys right here. Uh there we go. Magnetic palette alignment is alright. I think it goes with the rest. I yeah, it's not on the same level as stunner, right? Stunner maybe deserves like uh, a better like rank, maybe an A, and this can stay up to here, right? I think that would make it more sense over here. Cycle overload. This is like, honestly, I don't know. I've never played. I don't want to be that kind of guy, but I've never played this guy. It's just more tax speed. I feel like it's bad. I feel like it's bad, but I'm not sure. So I might just keep it here for for a bit. Many shells used to be good. It got nerfed. It's bad now. I feel like same same shit. This is more usable than... Mini shells could be in, like, B or C, honestly. It's not, like, terrible. It's been nerfed. It used to be, like, good. I think it's been nerfed to B or C, but I still can't tell where I put it. I don't know if I'll put it with a magnetic pale alignment, though. I still don't have a really good feel about it. But, like, it's it's good. It used to be good, so we'll give it its honor. We're not going to put it in C, because it's not that bad of an overclock, in my opinion. Super slim rounds. Uh, This is still for... uh Wait. It, oh, that's for the, uh, the Subara. Right? I think it is. Super Slim Runs is fine. I don't know if I want to put it as an A right next to the... Uh, oh, the crab minutes are at B? Just like gas recycling? Ooh. Ooh, that's 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 rough. Then I'll definitely put this guy over here then. Super Slim Rounds. No, even like lower. These Either these guys need to be above or this guy needs to be lower. But I feel like this is good for, for this guy. So I'll just put these guys, like, Recycling and Cryo Midlets. I'll just put him on A, then. Like, Midlets can go into A, I feel like. Yeah, I'm into NG. Yeah, I mean, like, this guy... Like, the Super Slim Rounds is into uh, the uh, NG, the Stubby. I know it's in the Stubby, not the the Zukovs. Thank you, Adisando, for, for the info. You never know. Uh, so, yeah, Super Slim Rounds for the... Um, oh, it's for the... Wait, yeah, yeah, I'm dumb. I did say... Uh, I'm thinking about the... Um, of the Zukovs. I'm thinking of the Zukovs again. So wait, for the... Uh, wait, get the shit out. Please. It doesn't want to go back. Oh, it does. Hold up. How did I do that? How did I do it? Something like... Doesn't matter. Um, so Super Slim Rounds for the Stubby is okay. It's fine, right? 
Like, it does the work. Wet oil machine is same. EM refire booster is a 100%. Late raid rounds is like, okay. Trade arc is good. I don't want to put it at A. Honestly, like, I feel like it's B. It's not a C. It's not a C for sure. Uh, uh, it's not a C. 100% not. Tier EM discharge goes same. Oh, wait, this is actually good. This could actually go in A, maybe, not in S. Maybe go in A, actually. Sometimes, like, I've seen some people actually pop off with this. Like, it can be a really interesting overall. Like, is it worth being around automatic fire, like, with Magazine Stunner and EM Refire Booster? Maybe? Maybe it is. I think it has potential. I'll keep it to here, like, see, see how it goes. And then, like, we'll do a re-evaluation re at the end. Clean sweep. So now we're going into the PGL. Uh... PGL, um, let me see here. A clean sweep is okay. See, like all of these overclocks are fine, right? Pack rat is good. I'd rather, honestly, I want to go with A for the pack rat. Compact rounds is okay. Maybe, might as well even put it on uh, on A here. Like they both work really well. I don't know which one I would pick though. But it's definitely fine. RJ250 compound. This, I don't, I don't know if I should, it's getting a, a buff. So maybe I should put it in A. But I mean, I don't see any, like, every engineer use this, uh, like, you know, constantly and whatever, right? Like, I don't see this happen. So, we'll see what we do with this. Mm. But for now, I think it's definitely a B, guaranteed. A, not sure. Fatboy, that's the first S of the list, and there's, it's not a surprise for anybody. It's, like, in the top three of my of my thing. Like, everything in the top three, you know it's an S. I mean, the Fatboy chatter, we need to talk about this. It's guaranteed an S class overclock, for sure. Hyper propellant is good, like it's fine. I don't know if I'll put it in A though, but um, uh, but it's good. It's receiving a, a a buff soon also, so I might go to A after the. By the way, I'm talking about like a, uh, like yeah, pre. No, is it post or pre? Post update thirty two. This is post update thirty two. By the way, post stats of update thirty two. Like without the the buffs of the weapons or anything, just doing this without. Lightweight case is good. I might even put this on A with the wait. Oh, this is for wait. This is for the um. This is for the breach cutter. Lightweight case is actually like S or A, honestly. Lightweight case, S or A. I don't want to put S because it's not like an amazing overclock all 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 overall, but it's great. It's actually huge. It's really good overclock. Roll control is. Uh, is good. Wait, what do I want to put roll control? Stronger plasma current is... Ugh, man, I feel like this is going to be good for the next update, but still, since we're rating before the update... I don't know, man. That's the one that like goes like clockwise like this, right? Yeah, it's worthless, honestly. It doesn't, doesn't do anything. Where's the rest, though? There it is. Uh, Stronger plasma current is like B or C, honestly. I don't really know what to do with this. Like, the damage is unnecessary. I don't think you can, like, uh, gain ammo by getting this. Because you already kill, like, you know, lower enemies in one hit. You don't need this for it to be viable. So this could just sit on C, on C, on, uh, on C with roll control. Return to Sender is good. I won't put it in A with Lightweight Case for a very particular reason. That I explained multiple times. And I'll link in the description why. And I'll put, like, everywhere. There's a clip of me explaining clearly why. I think that lightweight case is better than return to sender, so that's why I'm not putting him on the same tier. Otherwise, it would be hypocritical. So there you go. It's under tier right under, but it's still a B. It's still fine. It's good to use. It's good. High voltage crossover. It's pfft. like these. I just feel like oh man, lighter tanks is good. Wait, is this still for? Uh, is this still for the like uh, breach cutter? Is there like lightweight case and like lighter tanks on breach cutter? Honestly, I don't even know what this is, like, so, but I'm guessing it's not that bad or whatever, so I'm gonna just put it in here. Spinning Death, it's one of these ones. No, it's actually good. It goes with Return to Sender. It's fine. Mm -mm. There you go. Oh, it's a, wait, it's a, it's a Flamethrower one? Oh yeah, the Flamethrowers are, uh, are amazing randomly, you're right, so that's a Flamethrower one. Ladder Tanks on Flamethrower is actually good. It's actually a B. It's a good one, but that's on Flamethrower. It has nothing to do. Inferno on the Breach Cutter. Uh, pfft, yeah, it goes into the same category, right? I mean, everything uphill like, falls under the same name right here. It's either like you go Return to Sender, B, or like Lightweight Case, or on A, and the rest is like, meh. Spinning Death is good. Where is Spinning Death? Where did I put it? It's right here. Like, these two are fine, but the rest is like, meh. Okay, we're getting into the minigun now. 
Minigun, a little bit more oomph, is decent. It's good. A lot of people play it. It's good enough. It goes with a lot of things. Thin Dremel, I've never used it, honestly. So I'll just put it to here because it's not like as good as a little bit more oomph, I feel like. It's not like worth the deal. Like you you lower your gun like faster, like come on, man. Useless. Burning Hell, that's an A right there, dude, if I've ever seen one. Burning Hell is so good. You can do so much with it. It's actually just great. Lighting on fire and like easy damage on the first time. It on the on the five first meters is really good. It, it's really, really cool. So we're we're putting that right here on A, 100 percent Compact feed mechanism. Oh, that's for Oh, it tells you right under what it's for. Wait, hold up. No, I'm dumb. <laughs> this is the no. Uh, I've seen this already. This is like the under, like the yeah, the name of the other overclock. Okay. Compact feed me what is this? What is this overclock? Feed mechanism. I have no idea where this overclock uh, for what gun this is. I have no idea what is that is it. Exhaust victoring. So we're doing oh it's still for the it's still for the minigun. I think it's still for the minigun. Mm -mm. Drops your rate of fire on the okay, interesting. So this is for minigun, right? You drop your rate of fire for ammo. Honestly, I think it's a C. There's no good reason to go for that. Like just take the ammo upgrade only for an overclock to do that. And even going like damage upgrade and ammo overclock just makes no sense overall when you can have like a very good damage overclock compared to like the really dull damage upgrades you can get on your gun to begin with. Exhaust vectoring is okay. It's not bad. I've used it multiple times. I know a lot of people like it's either like exhaust vector or a little bit more oomph. They're on the same tier. They work both just as fine. It's okay. So like both are fine. They, they work well. Bullet hell is good. I don't know if I want to put it at A though, because I mean, good. Is it good though? Wait, hold up. I'm no. I think it's magic bullet. I'm thinking about. Bullet hell is fun, but is it good though? As fun as these guys? I don't think so. I'm just gonna drop it in C. But I mean, C has some like really bad overclocks that could be in D. So bullet hell, it's fun. Like okay, where does it work? It works with parasite, I guess. And like when you have four gunners with parasite and golden bugs, that's fun, but that's it. So yeah, these are the kind of overclocks that work in one situation. Not that like never work. These guys like never work. Let's storm. That's an A right there. We're going for an A on let's storm. Like yeah, it's a really good overclock. It's been nerfed. It's still fine. It does the work. I prefer burning hell by a ton, but I can't neglect the fact that let's storm still has some pretty good damage against dreadnoughts and and whatever. If you if you know that like, how to how to kite on the zipline, then boom, like you, you it just were, it, it, it would be really bad to put it at B because it's not, it's worth, it's worth an A, 100%. Composite drums, wait, this sticky additive is for the burning, oh yeah, for the burner. Composite, this is for the big birth, uh, for the big birth, uh, this is for the thunderhead auto cannon. So for the thunderhead auto cannon, uh, composite drum is actually okay, it's not great. Uh, it's more ammo on it. Honestly, I put it on C. I don't feel like it's necessary. It's one of those, you know, like clean overclock that you'll never pick. I mean, that you only pick when, you know, you're you're really like just Jimmy here, like 3 IQ. <laughs> Where you don't know what to pick and it's like, yo, I could use more ammo and just pick that because it's clean and you, you don't get any drawback from it. But there's like other clean overclock that do, that do way, way better. And when you learn how to play, like, you know, consistently then you don't need that. Basically, this is like when you just got like, is if this is your first overclock and you're still like, you know, ammo managing still has three to four, then it's fine, right? But as an overclock overall compared to the rest, it's bad. I mean, it's not that good. Sticky additive is good. Sticky additive is definitely, defo is an A here. Because wait, we can just stay like this, right? And just like get the sweet, hold up, the sweet angle like this. Sticky additive is definitely uh, an A because it, it's like, um, it's free damage. Free sticky flames. It's like a, a good mix between sticky flames and good damage and like, you know, just not spamming but holding an enemy. See him die and use the sticky flames to help out the other enemies. It's there's really good builds that derive from this and it's definitely an A. That's a good really good overclocks. That's a really that is it, it is a nice balance. It is a really good overclock. When you're kind of sick of playing like, you know, um, you're kind of sick of playing sticky flames and you just want to shoot stuff, just go with this. Just go with it and you can just left click and kill enemies and be totally fine. You can even go for like other overclocks to actually like really hold and have a max ammo, but you won't do any damage, so it's not really that fun. This is really good. Splintering shells. Um should I put it on the same A tier? Like honestly, I'm not gonna be hypocritical with splintering shells. It is a good overclock. I think copper bomber and splintering shells, even though I put copper bomber in my top 10, they own the same place in my heart. A is definitely a good uh place for them. They play really well. Um altogether. Should I put them in like B and put Bertha on A? 
I don't know. This is like really where I'm going to have to make a choice between these three. Combat mobility is being nerfed next patch, but for now, I feel like it's really like even... It's even a C, dude. I don't even see a reason to put it in B. Because these guys could go in B and this could go in A. Let's see. I'm going to... I can't just put these three at A. It's too easy. It's, it's too easy to put these three at A. So I'm going to go with... Because um, why? if you go Big Bertha, you'd never go Splintering Shells, right? Like... These two are not on the same shelf. I'm gonna have to put splintering shells at B, Big Bertha at A, and then see if I put Carpet Bomber at B with carp with uh, splintering shells. Oh, I don't think Carpet Bomber's at A, right? What do we have here? I think it's an A then. It's just too good. Carpet Bomber is too good. I'm gonna put it with Big Bertha at A, both at them, and splintering shells under. Not that I think that it's bad, but I mean, if you're going for single target, etc., and like if you go for di more direct damage, just like Big Bertha and learn how to play with it because it's an amazing overclock. It's just crazy good compared to this, and this just works really well. It's an A because it just works so well. It's amazing. It's not overpowered, but holy crap, is it good? You don't even... It's a good overclock. It's really good. Next toe. Neurotox Payload. Um, people would, would, be, would be putting this in B. I've had, like, some friends that played it and recommend it. I don't think it's bad. I think it's underrated. Honestly, I don't ever play, but I, I don't think it's bad. I think it's really fine. Like, you have, like, instead of, like, doing Copper Bomber, doing a better big, low, good old AoE damage and killing everybody, you do a big old AoE, slow and AoE, like, uh, damage. You're, like, a low-key a driller. So that's why I'm not putting it at C. I think it's really worth the B here, honestly. I think it's a good overclock and should be tested out and deserve more love than just C. Definitely better. Definitely deserve a B. Home brew powder. That's for the okay. So that's for the bulldog. That's definitely weak though. I don't want to put it at B because honestly, I don't feel like it really deserved that. Honestly, chain. Oh, wait, hold up. Chain hit deserves C. Maybe even D here. The chain hit's so bad. It's useless as fuck. It never it never pops and it's just terrible. It never works. It's pretty bad. So that's gonna be on D. That's gonna be on C. Volatile bullets is almost a fucking S right here, dude. Honestly, I, I'm hesitating to put Volatile Bullets on S here. Cause it's in my top it's top two on my on my list, right? I think it's top two on my list. Yeah. Honestly, I don't know if I put it S or A, Volatile Bullet. Cause it, it has drawback, right? So here's the deal. I think I'm gonna put it A because it has drawback. If it's not on fire, it's crap. This, you could put it anywhere and it works. So that's why it's godlike. This is great, but it's not S, I feel like. It's really good, but it doesn't work against dreads. It doesn't work on like a lot of stage against armor. See, like that shit doesn't give a fuck. So that's like good, I think. I, I won't put it in S for that reason. That's why. It has a little bit of drawbacks that makes it so it's not perfect. Six shooter is good, but honestly, I would feel like bad. I feel like six shooter is the same as copy bomber, but not the same as volatile bullet. Honestly, I'm gonna have to put volatile above here. Because, dude, six shooter, I'm, I don't want to put it at B because it's definitely a good overclock. I think it's better than B. I think it's worth the A, but compared to Volatile Bullet, it doesn't rival. I f really feel like it doesn't. But if I put Volatile Bullets in here, the Elephant Rounds would be here. Would be, uh, would be here then with the six shooter. Yeah, they're both fine, but this is like, it really goes over the top because it's just too good. You don't lose any ammo for this. You have the same DPS as this. You have a really good elemental value. But uh, yeah, I guess I guess I'm gonna put this here then because it's the six shooter and the elephant round. Putting all of these three in the same category really makes me feel uncomfortable. It really does. It really does make me feel uncomfortable. So I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna up with S and the volatile bullets here. This is literally just my my top ten, but with like extra details. <laughs> That's what it is. Com uh, compact feed valves. Uh, what is that for? I'm guessing it's for the bulldog two. Honestly, I've never used it. But uh, I'm guessing it's poor because, you know, it's just more ammo on the bulldog. It's just like composite drums. You don't... Oh, it's flamethrower. Um, composite field valve. It's... Uh, is it a thing that people have been like... Because uh, there's a because there's a flamethrower overclock that's bounced that people have been like... I think it's uh, stream fuel diffuser. I think that's the one that people have been telling me about. We'll see. Uh, honestly, it's not even that good. It, I don't think it's... Any, like, ammo upgrade, except for this one, Oversized Magazine, is, like, you're gonna learn to play without it. You can't play without it, and, like, at first, that's why I don't put it at C, because it's not useless. Like, you're gonna, like, it could be useful to, like, you know, like, use your ammo, etc. But in the end, you're gonna drop it, and you're never gonna use it again, I feel like. Not, never gonna happen again. Magic Bullet, so now we're back on the bullet. Magic Bullet is defo an A. Maybe even, like, an, I don't think it's an S. Should it be an S, though? 
Should it be an S? Magic Bullet is really a good overclock. It's an amazing overclock. It's really hard to use, right? But I think, honestly, I think it can go for an S. I think Magic Bullet, in, in my opinion, could has the potential to go for an S. Like, and how it deals with swarms and everything. Honestly, dude, I'm going to give it the place it deserves compared to the rest of here. Because it's definitely not worth, like, the say, Shooter and the Life and Rounds. It's up there with Volatile Bullets. And I did as it did on my top 10 to put them up together. So it definitely deserves a place in the SDR up here. Definitely. Composite Casting. What is this for? Wait. Experiment. Wait, what is all of this? What is that? Wait, we just did... Um, we just did... Oh, it's BRT, right? Oh, it's BRT things. I have no idea. I only know one BRT overclock. The Let's Pray. The Let's Pray is good. That's all I know. The rest is... What is that? Um, wait. Uh, Electro Minlets. Micro Fletchets is good also. Micro Fletchets is really good. Wait, should I put it as same as A though? Um, yeah, I'm guessing I could. Because basically, like, Let's Pray is the, um, is the Elephant Rounds for the BRT. And it destroys Dreadnoughts. Like, it just explodes them into, like, space. It, it's, it's like they never existed. And this is more like the mini shells for the, for the BRT. It's a good compromise between like a lot of ammo and like chip damage and like, you know, have enough like ammo total, like, you know, damage per clip to be useful. Just like the, uh, like, uh, wait, where is it? Just like lightweight case, lightweight mag, all of those kind of thing. This is one of these, I feel like. It might go under, but I think it's all right. Composite casting is more attack speed, right? Which one destroys dress? The, uh, the Let's Pray. Let's Pray is huge. Let's Pray is amazing. Composite casting. This is like more like a text. Honestly, this one, I don't know. I'm not going to lie to you all. I don't know how good these are. So I'm not going to lie. Composite mag. Wait, experimental rounds. Are these all for the... Wait, hold up. Wait, compact ammo gas rerouting. Wait, this is not all of the BRT, right? Is it? I have no idea. Uh, Electro minlets. Wait, hold up. Which what, what is that for? And then we end up by the, uh, the scout. Perfect. Uh, I have no idea what this one is. I think they're all for the BRT, but I have no idea. Like this, I don't know what it is. This, I don't know how good it is. Micro minlets. Electro minlets, I've heard. No, I'm not sure it's good. I don't think it is. I think it's actually all right. It's not like an... I don't think it's a D. I think it could be in B. But since I really don't know, I want I don't want to give my opinion on something I'm not sure. You know what I mean? This, same, I don't know. Guess we don't have no idea what this is. Stream field diffuser, this is good. I'll put it in B. I'm not going to give it an A. But it's that. Oh, actually, could it be an A? Because this is like, this is where with this overclock you change your um your your whole build, right? Like your whole flamethrower into an actual like just sniper. You you just change your flamethrower into a sniper. You can just burn everything onto the ceiling, being like meters away. You don't give a shit. It's actually really fun to play, and it changes your gun. I feel like it's really viable. You could go for like fuel. Yo, hold up. You could go for fuel diffuser and tranquilizing rounds. Where is tranquilizing rounds? I, I put it somewhere in B, I think. Oh, it's uh, it's uh, overclock. I think it's like unstable, right? I don't remember. But you could go for the uh, for you know the stun like Sabata plus the long range like frame diffuser. I think it be it can be fun. I think it be, it can be really nice. But I'm not gonna put an A for that much. But definitely top of the basket B tier here, though. Definitely top of the basket B. Homebrew powder for the wait. Wait, what is that for? Wait, where are we going? Oh, this is the uh, okay. This is the GK. Uh, uh, yeah, the the GK, right? Uh, no, the MK. Wait, no, that's the GK. The that's the assault rifle for the scout. That's what it is. Homebrew powder is okay. I'd put it in B because it's not insane. It's not crazy. Overclock firing mechanism is really good. That one is a pretty good one. Uh, should I put it in B though? Honestly, it's fun. It's fine. We have Let's Pray Microfly. Honestly, it could it, it deserves an almost an A here. Like as an overclock, it's really fun. Homebrew Powder could even go into B here with this, but I don't think so. Oh wait, Bullets of Mercy is definitely an A. Honestly, I'm gonna go with an S here. Bullets of Mercy is definitely an S. It's top of the basket. Like um, I mean, look at all the rest though. Is it? Is it really like right next to Fat Boy and Volatile Bullets and Magic Bullets? No, I don't think so. But it's definitely your top pick on the... See, like, it would have been an S if 
like if G gk was a like played weapon like overall like everywhere just like you know people like play the pgl just for the fat boy and people like use like the 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 bulldog only for big damage or magic bullets like the s is the kind of overclock that you only play the gun just for this like you know it's just you, you just go for this overclock that's it like you make a build around it so that it is good uh bullets of mercy is actually you do kind of make a build around it but i mean actually it's fine the thing is it's elemental value honestly dude it works with a stun it works with the stun it works with fire it works with cry i think this is fine i think this might deserve an s i think honestly this overclock is broken it's your top priority pick it's yeah i think honestly i am gonna put it at an s no cap i'm gonna put it at an s it's definitely great if you freeze an enemy and you have bullets of mercy it's gg it's goodbye the guy freaking dies you could just get it in one hit with jumbo shells though but i mean that's another question but i think as an over in itself i think it's great like bullets of mercy is just a name that you cannot put in a next to elephant rounds next to oversized ma i i do not think so it is top of the basket a stability engine is definitely a good uh good overclock a or b for sure because it's just like so good it's not like oh it's auto aim you don't have any recoils for people who don't know how to aim no it's more dps because you're landing more shots like since you don't have any recoil you don't have to like miss shots into the if you have a weak spot and you have recoil you have chances to miss that weak spot and miss some damage this is just better dps honestly these two are like really good top of the basket gk overclocks no cap and so that's why like they're, they're both really really good so i'm putting it there for sure for defos for sure then electrifying reload now this one is for the m1000 we're getting to the juicy part the m1000 electrifying reload is garbage it's actually pretty bad it's c because it's not useless i've seen some people like pop off with it it's fun right like if there's a fun value then it's it's in c otherwise if it's completely like brandon is useless it's going back in d so there you go i think it's pretty it's pretty all right it's yeah you, you can have fun running around on it so it's oh and actually reload gk2 the same it's the same deal so here is where we get to okay if we reload is uh, GK2, still try. Yeah, it's still garbage, right? It's all right, but it's not like D tier though. Oh yeah, it's it's electrocuting focus shot. I'm thinking of. That's what I'm thinking of. So here, hover clock. Hover clock. We're gonna go for an A. Should we go? Okay, this is where I stop my hypocrisy. Is it worth the A? It just makes you hover. Honestly, you play it for a while and then you just swap to minimal clips or something else. It's not the kind of thing that you know. You're gonna play like 100% of the time. You play because it's fun, but it's not worth like copy bomber, like freaking burning hell. You know what I mean? It's good, but it's it's fun, right? But it's not like a tier. It's not a tier for me. It it doesn't like make you gonna go completely berserk, right? It cancels fall damage, sure, but you can do it with uh with special powder. You can do it with your grappling hook if you play well, and even ledge grab. Any character can do this. It's re it's really good. Oh yeah, and by the oh yeah, good point, natural uh, natural bone camper. Good point. With hover clock, you're just like fixing yourself into the air, basically baiting every enemy to your position. Like if you have Mactera's acid spitter, web spitters, and you hover into the air, you're just like here more longer for them to shoot you. Whereas like the faster you go, the more chance you have to dodge an enemy's bullet. Right. With this, you kind of like doom yourself mid air. That's kind of true. So I'm going to put it to be not a C for sure. Minimal clips, though, that's best A ever. If it's not an S, honestly. See, this is where, like, I've said this in my top 10. This is where minimal clips caps at A and doesn't go S. Should I put it at S, though? Honestly, dude, this, fix, this shit's OP. It's not that it's OP. It's just that it's, it's it has everything you need for the gun. There's no reason not to take it. Except if you want to go, like, yeah, have some fun and use other overclocks, right? But I mean... I think it is the best overclock for the M1000. I th I genuinely think it. So like, why would it be S? Because it has nothing special. It's just good, but it's not insane. See, like these things are like really popping off. The, like, dude, the the GK as a as a gun is like meh. But with this, it actually becomes like really viable. With the M1000, this is just like the the pocket pick, right? It's just the pocket pick, just like perfect YouTube cooler, oversized magazine. This is literally my, wait, the Perfect Tunku is actually like number six or seven. But these two are like my honorable mentions, literally. And that's why they stay here. They can't be on top higher. This could go, I mean, yeah, this is just too basic, but this could go actually higher. 
this might go S, but next to Bullets of Mercy, it doesn't stand a chance. It does not stand a chance, in my opinion. But it's top of the A, for sure. It's top of the A. Top of the A. Same with, like, Sticky Additive. You know, I might even rank these, like, in sub-tiers, you know what? I might, like, put this over here. Automatic, uh, yeah, lower, though. Stunner is, like, right here. Wait, hold up. There we go. Put this over here. Anyways, we'll do that later on. But, yeah, this is top. So, uh, active stability system. <laughs> next hipster is good hipster is actually fine it's i could even put it on a honestly i like hipster welcome to hipster the is good crew, hipster i genuinely build stuff around it and it's really good next overclocking to the list oh we have face melter chat <laughs> pepe laugh chat where do we put face melter <laughs> where do we put it honestly is it c or d dude I feel like D is like a very harsh treatment for face melter. I think C is good. C is like around ice spear. Like it, it can work in some, not even. Yeah, not even. It, I was gonna say, does it has usage? I was thinking about like, like, this has usage, right? In some situations. Does it though? Like, does it really? I mean, if you go full damage, I guess it's, yeah. It has like a slim fun value. So I'm guessing it's working. Very, but yeah, it's bottom of the C though. It's bottom of the C list, 100%. Uh, foc electro king focus shots. C or D? I don't know, man. These ones, I kind of want to put it in D, but same. I've seen like, uh, I don't want to be too harsh with this overclock. I really don't want to be too harsh with it. So let's put like, it's around face melter level. Honestly, it's not like crazy, crazy insane. It's around extra fire. Yeah, it's the same tier as this one. Okay. Super cooling chamber. This one gets a hard D though. No cap. No think on that, dude. Super cooling chamber goes straight to D. It's so bad, man. The damage value... Actually, no. It has... It's just like Ice Spear. It has... It can one-shot a Dread and a Bulk on Critical Weakness. But that's it. Otherwise, it's garbage. Like, the damage you get out of it from... And all the drawbacks that you get for, like, this very few damage is so not worth the go. But it's worth in one case, and I use it in one case only. It's to one shot dreadnoughts on solo has five on stream. That's it. And also like one shot bulks on to do a one punch man video. It one shot bulks detonators on, on critical weakness with a with a IFG. That's it. So it has a bit of value, just like these guys. These two are like like there we go. They're like top of the C for that very reason, but they're like not much worth more. They're way not worth. They're really not worth that much more. Compact shells. Oh, this is where we get to the um, to the boomstick. Compact shells for the boomstick. It's good. I use it in one case. It's with the... Uh, how do you say? It's... Um, yeah, I use it in my elemental scale build. I use it with Bullets of Mercy to have more ammo on my boomstick. I use also fire upgrade on the boomstick. So basically, you set stuff on fire with your boomstick. Bo bo once it's on fire, boom, you got Bullets of Mercy, stun, IFG, everything you want. All the elemental values you could it, possibly put in there. You just stack them. You just stack them up. And then boom. So compact shell is fine. I don't think it's an A though, but it's definitely good. Actually, it could be an A. Oh, wait, it's for the M1000? No, it's not for the M1000. Oh, no, you're... Yeah, okay. But yeah, Compact Shell is definitely a uh, B. Maybe like an A. I, I might even stretch it to A because it's fine. You could be... I mean, it's not that much damage. So, yeah. We're going to put it like top B, right? Let's put it top B with Carmen's. Double Barrel. That's kind of cringe. Double Barrel is kind of... Is it the thing that's like unload two barrels at once? It's okay, though. It's not bad, but it's not a B, though. Like, uh, I don't know. It's kind of like... Pff. It's... You have the M1000 to do, like, a lot of, like, solo target damage. Why would you go waste two ammo and one for, like, a wave clear? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. Basically, like, yeah. It, it doesn't add up. Like, it doesn't... You need, like... If you, if you want to go for single target good damage, go for the focus on the M1000. You have more ammo. It's more and more reliable. If you want to go for, like, some wave clears and AoE... Don't unload double barrel. One is usually enough. So let's feel like it's a, it's it's a C. It's not a D, all right, but it's like top C, right? It's bottom B, top C, like right here, something like that. I think that that's what I think about it. Special powder, roll him in, boys, roll him in. I think should it be an should it be an S? This is the question. Should I put this as an S? I think I'm gonna swap 
with an other S that I think really deserves. Uh, it's good, honestly, it can't take the S place because it has a stif significant damage. You know what? Okay, here's the deal. I don't, I don't think, yeah. Like it's really me because I'm, okay. This is what I'm, I'm struggling about. Let's just getting out of the room right here. Jumbo shells, S. Special powder, A. It has to be said. Dude, jumbo shells is the way to go. There's no way in the hell that I'm putting jumbo shells under or equal to special powder. Like, yes, special powder is amazing. It's great. It's top of the A, but it's not a jumbo shells S. It's not a jumbo. Sh jumbo shells S is just, it's crazy. It just, in two shots, you can armor shred a dread on solo. It's amazing. It deals, it has the right amount of damage. Learn how to play with it. It's like Big Bertha, but you know. Maybe some people would put Big Bertha S. I understand. This is the, the Big Bertha of the Jumbo Shells, of the uh, Boomstick. It's too good. There's no way in hell I'm not putting this guy like at the same level as Special Powder. It, it's way better. It's amazing. This one is top A, but compared to this, the value you get out of it, it depends on how you play. For me, who's does speedrunning all the time, people who just play Scout casually and want to play the game will think this is like godlike. But like honestly, like if you're trying to play with like big enemies, a lot of waves, you really want to go for this. You will feel the difference. You will really feel it. And then you'll understand what it's like to feel and play the boomstick with the M1000. This is what it's for. This is like the top of the basket boomstick uh, overclock for me. It definitely deserves an S. No cap. 100%. Stuff shells can go to a B. It's like more pellets, so it's more damage. It's kind of like an oh, underwhelming... Uh, Jumbo shells. I don't even know why I don't put it at C. What did I put at C uh, on here from these guys? Double barrel. Is double barrel worth, uh, worse than stuff shells? Is it? Kind of, because with here you're wasting ammo. This is why, like, honestly, <laughs> Return to Setter isn't in C because you still get your ammo back, but he, right here you're kind of wasting ammo of some, of some sort. Here it's kind of cool. Same for the shape shells is good. Like, honestly, I've never played it really. But I can see the appeal, and it's definitely fine. It's with stuff shells. This wouldn't be under shape shells. Both are good. You can use them. Like, if you have them, they're not bad. That, like, this is, like, starting to get bad, right? This is starting to get bad, and this is bad. But this is good. This is all right. Uh, minimal magazine. Wait, what is that for? Custom casing. Wait, what are those for? Because sticky fuel, yeah. I'm wasting the... I'm guessing the... Wait, this is where you put up the sheet. Where's the sheet? First two are for the the oh the Zukovs, okay. Let me let me see what they do exactly because I think like I know what they do, but I don't have the thing under my like under the eyes right now, so I can't really compare. Uh, minimal magazine, M more combined rate of fire, less reload time. It's bad. It's it's a B. You have more rate of fire. You have no ammo. This gun, these guns, the Zuko are known to have no ammo. If you ever play this shit, just pick cryo minlets. Um, where's the other one? Uh, gas re recycling, uh, super slim rounds. Wait, is this for the sub stubby? I think it's for the stubby. But like the clean overclock for like more ammo, and and that's it. What's cu custom casing? Come back clip side. This is good. This is really good. I mean, not not A though, but it's definitely in here. Honestly, dude, these guys could go into A. I just come to think about it, they're worth, dude. Honestly, like putting custom casing rest next to gas recycling and cryo minutes feels super hypocritical. Same for Ice Storm and Snowball. Like, B tier is the, you're good with this, right? And A is like, okay, it's starting to get interesting. Like, there's really stuff going on, which it's definitely the case for these guys. So I'm gonna do like another like revamp at the end. And Sticky Fuel, oh boy, Sticky Fuel, where do we put it? I think I'm gonna put it on S. I want to put this guy on S, but do I keep it on S or top A? I think it's an S, especially with the upcoming uh, missions. Sticky fuel is too good. Merge this with damage, slow, and fucking uh, explosive uh, enemies. And bro, you don't you don't even have to play the game anymore. The game plays itself. You paint the ground, the game dies, dude. It's so good. It slows, dreads, bulks. It has damage. It flames well. You don't use too much ammo. It's fun to play. It has everything you need. Sticky Fuel is amazing. Like, if I'm not playing Sticky Fuel, I'm literally playing Sticky Additive, which is like a, a rip-off of a Sticky Fuel sometimes. Like, you ha have a good way there. But it definitely deserves an S. Like, there's no way in hell where Sticky Fuel does not deserve an S, right, chat? Honestly, this is r really, really good. Definitely deserves the S here. And I'm, like, yeah, really proud of this one right here.
Let's see what else we can put right here. All right, so overclocks we missed. First of all, let's do the I don't knows. Um, all right, so embedded detonation. What is that? Oh, it's for the Zukovs. Embedded detonator. Special bullets contain micro explosives that detonate when you reload the weapon that costs all and direct damage. It's either C or B, dude. Uh, it's either C or D. 75 max ammo less. It's huge. It's insane to have less. Like, dude, this clip right here is somewhat good because you get plus 30. Here you lose 75. I'm guessing it's a very particular playstyle. Like, you just, like, shoot three bullet, reload, that's it. And then you get, like, a good amount of damage with it, right? But, I mean, yeah, I've never heard of it. I've never heard, and, like, you play this, like, two games, and you're like, okay, I'm bored. Let's go back to, like, something else, right? Uh, I can't I can do it with this overclock. I don't think it's really great. So, yeah, I, honestly, it's one of the really rare Ds in here. Next, explode, wait, wait. Yeah, explosive reload. What is this for? Explosive reloads. Micro explosive that explode. Yeah, same. It's same tier as this. Heavy hitter. What is that for? Heavy hitter. Multiplying direct damage. Less battery capacity. No more shot heat generation. Wait, what's the overclock that cell is used to do like like spam the uh, the chain hit on the um, on the uh, EPC? I think it's uh, heat pipe. I think it's heat pipe. Hundred percent less heat. I need to check out the stats. So let's see here. Honestly, that yeah, heavy hitter. Uh, C or D uh, I don't even know why I put it at C Like I'm guessing it's fun to do like a super huge Short shot and do a lot of damage But minus 32 battery capacity And no more heat shot Generation if yeah I mean I guess if you're playing Like full on damage this is okay so I'm gonna Put it at C it deserves to be there Overcharger what is this for oh it's for the same thing Oh it's the same thing but better It's like max damage Times 1.5 charge damage, area damage, charge shot use uh, more ammo, cooling rate. Okay, so this I'm guessing is like same rate, but this is better. This might be even a B. Is it a B though? I've never played it, but I'm guessing it's not that bad. I'm going to keep it, I don't know, because I really don't know about these guys, if they're good or bad. I know what they do, but I can't really tell until I play them, like recently, if they're good or not. Composite casing is for the BRT, okay. Uh, BRT, max ammo, rate of fire. I think that's not that bad, honestly. I could put this in D. I feel bad putting this in C. When it's clearly like fairly fairly good. More ammo, red of fire, like you yeah. If you have a good build behind it, this could sustain pretty much like any any sort of decent B or T build. So I'm gonna keep it at B. I think it's alright. Full chamber seal. Damage reload time. Okay, so plus one damage uh, minus one uh, 0 0.2 reload time on the BRT. One damage isn't huge on the BRT. And the reload time can be it's negligible. So I think we can put this in C. It's not like crazy. Reload time can always be cancelled. Just remember that. And yeah, sure. Shorter the reload time, faster the animation, faster you can cancel it. But I mean, dude, you're going like too far. Like, dude, it, it's really not worth to like go for one damage for that. Compared to the Let's Storm, uh, Let's Spray. They put, yeah, Let's Spray is an A, dude. This this is what you want to go for. Not this. This is cringe. This is the like, Chad. This is the Chad freaking full chamber seal. Compact mags plus 84 ammo. On the compact mag, okay, on the BRT. This is another BRT one. Uh, minus rate of fire, more reload time. Honestly, this is really, this is a B, same. It has, like, good ammo, which you need with this gun. If you really want to, it's like micro flight shots. Where did I put him? Uh, mini shells. Is, did I put micro flight shots in B? I, I did. Micro flight shots in A, wow. Uh, yeah, might need to be some stuff in here. But, uh, yeah. I know this one works. I'm guessing this is, like, a bit of cinnamon. Compact mags and micro, micro flight shots really, uh, like, sound the same. They sound the same. So this is like times two ammo, like double the ammo, plus 30 magazine size, less, uh, like, yeah, less recoil, less spread shot, but like less damage. But like just, they, they divide your damage by two. Damage like like times 0.5. But honestly, dude, with all the ammo that you have, it's really fun. This, on the other hand, is just ammo, less red fire. So don't, you don't have any damage downgrade with this. So this could be like a good way of it, but this is really good. Like I really have fun playing this one. This is like a, a top B here, close to the to his uh, predecessor right here. So I feel like it's good. Uh, experimental rounds. It's also for the, this is like damage. Wait, plus nine damage. This is bad. This is set, definitely bad. Uh, definitely a C. Plus nine damage, minus 36 ammo, magazine size. That's less spray, but that's same. Full chamber seal, experimental round, and dude, this is the cringe version of let's spray. 
I don't know why they did all these two just to get this. Like, honestly, it's the same, but at different levels. And there's no reason to go with these guys when you could go with, like, this guy or this guy. Just go it's go straight to this or these guys. Like, it, this is, like, a weird champ middle that I feel like just don't work. Or, like, it works early on, but, like, you'll, you'll get bored of it, like, really fast. Like, once you learn how to play, you'll be like, okay, this is just, like, a build, but not, like, a crazy build, right? These are, like, really fun and, like, High level, high level, uh, overclock. You could like really bring up to any party and just still work. Alec, okay, electro minlets. What does this one do? After impacting terrain, these okay, yeah, this one is fun. This is a B. This is a fun B, but it's not an A. Basically, after like yeah, wait, where is it? Yeah, after impacting terrain, these high tech bullets convert it into extra minutes, which will execute anything unfortunate enough to come close. However, they don't last forever, and the rounds themselves take more space in the clip than deal less direct damage. So you have less direct damage, less clip, but it's like six magazine size, Lou, six on BRT. It, it doesn't sound that good, but you can it, it it's really not that big of a deal. Compared to like freaking like nine or, or anything else you could have with that. And uh, and yeah, it's really it's like the it's like the micro the the micro uh, cryo minlets here. Beerty and Zukovs are like brothers in harm, and like cryo minlets and electro minlets, they're like same stuff, and they're about the same stuff. They're both in A, and they're they're both fine. They they're really good to play. Chain okay, uh, gas rerouting. I think we're we're doing like the same ones. Uh, Deep core GK two rotify reload time. It's a really good one. I'm not gonna put it in A next to um where did I put in A. Uh, I've, I'm sure I put it here somewhere. Did I put this one in B2? Uh, no, Medic Nick kept Pilot Element. What do I have in here? But some Mercy, where's the... There you go. Overclock Fire Mechanism. It's not as good. Gas rerouting as Overclock Fire Mechanism or as uh, AI Stability Engine. But it's definitely fine. Like, if you don't have it, like, it's not a bad overclock. You know what I mean? I've Like, I remember playing this, waiting for these two, and it was doing the job really well. Like, honestly, like, this is, like, a really, like, late game. Not late game, but, you know, like, over the top. All of these things are, like, often, like, you know, ba like, um, balanced or unstable overclock because this is where you push the game to like, the limits and the fun and, like, the next, uh, like, end game level kind of stuff. Where this is more of a safe approach where, sure, it'll do the work, but, you mean. It's a it's, eh. when you're going to like high levels of like enemies everywhere, you want to have something that just it claps, you know, like you have big drawbacks, but it's fine because you know how to play with them. And when you need to get at that sweet, sweet, like uh, overclock, unstable, big damage, big uh, part of the overclock. And there you have it. That's what you need when you're playing it like on like enemies everywhere, kind of Pepega going all everywhere. You need some overclocks that like go further. They don't they aren't just safe because safe just won't make it. Or if, uh, I don't know, maybe they will, but you get the idea. You get the point I'm trying to make here. So that's why like these are over here and this is like still fine though. It's not bad, but there you have it. Compact ammo for the scout deep core two. More magazine size, less recoil. Same, it's not bad. It's going right next to it. Like it's another one of these where it's like, okay, this makes me think of uh, less recoil and magazine size. I remember doing some combos with these, with these two, like swapping between these, uh, this and this, but uh, ultimately, like, this ends up being this, like, right? Like, the gas rerouting ends up being overclock firing mechanism. And compact ammo ends up being AI stability engine. I feel in the end. That's just how you're going to go about it. But if you still feel safe and you don't feel free to, like, you don't feel feel ready enough. That's what I meant. Uh, to go to upgrade to these, these are, like, the, the like, low-budget versions of these ones. And way safer, as I mentioned earlier, in the point I was trying to make. There you go. And then these other ones, I still don't know. They're like the same one. But this, like, if I had to rank this, I'm guessing this is a B and this is a C. Because it's one that, it's that's other format of this is fine, but this does it better. So there you go. That's like probably like really weird champ. And this is just like really fun to play, really make. It's like Cryo Minlets. It brings up a lot of add-ins to, 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 uh, to the table, change out how you play the gun, and really makes everything like fun overall. I think it's like a good overclock to, to make changes gun and everything. So I think we have the chillies here. Now is the part where... Uh, oh, wait. I was in F11. Feels bad, man. I want to have this clean. Feels bad. Um, all right. Uh, this is the part where we rearrange everything. We see if we're uh, ready. If we're liked what we have so far. I don't think it's a bad overclock for that matter. You know, in terms of like... Would you put it at C? See, that's the thing. When you're trying to do a tier list, I'm trying to, first of all, be biased, or if I played it or not, but, like, understand the potential of the thing and see, like, if it's, like, not... You're rating it as a good or a bad overclock in any situation or everywhere. This is what you can play without changing anything and still play any mission regardless. You'll still do a great job. 
the B, this is the A tier. The B tier is at some point, you might, if you've been playing with these for a while, at some point, you might want to swap to an A tier. Or, like, you're gonna play these for like a few missions, but then, like, yeah, they're not like great for all the time, right? They're good, but like, not a hundred percent of the time. Maybe some are, like, the Neurotox Pager. If you really like playing it, then you could. It definitely can. But for me, like, these are the ones I like use, like, and I swap too, by the way. Like, there's. There's not only one gun in here, like, you know, I put an overclock per gun and the rest is like, oh, maybe you, you guys use this, but I use this all the time. No, it's not that it's really reliable on anything. And this is like stuff that are reliable, but like on certain situations so that you want to like um, really measure how you want to use them in the right way. But they're definitely good overclocks. I, I, this is like basically like A, but not all the time. So that's why these are like higher ranked because they're just too good not to be, you could just not take them off and still be good. They're just too fine to, to not be like B or whatever. So that's the thing. C is even more situational. C is, it has like literally one purpose in the game. And it's somewhat fun. And it would feel, it would feel unfair to say it's useless. So it's like, don't pick it like on your, like don't feel like you're going to be godlike with this thing. But it still has a purpose that could be fulfilled that makes them C tier. Like one shotting with these dudes on, on like... um. On a, how's it called? On critical weakness. It's super fun, but you're not going to play this on like a, a freaking like, a, how's it called? Volatile uh, guts or even a splitter infestation. Not going to happen. What else? Yeah, same for all these. Uh, the D though are just like, I cannot find an interest in taking these ever. That's that's like the bottom of the tier list. I just can't find an interest in taking chain hit. It never procs, it never works. Oh wait, chain hit? Wait, where's their chain hit here though? But both of the chain hits, just I can't find a good purpose to it. Like, it just doesn't work that well. It just doesn't, it's not reliable at all. And there's no really reason to, to pick it over anything else. If you have nothing, pick it. But right here, when you're doing an overclock tier list, it means, like, compared to all the overclocks, how did this rank compare to his brothers in, like, the same gun or other guns? And this is how he ranks solo. But if you have, like, compared to no overclocks, all of these are good, right? Compared, I mean, honestly, no. In here, like, yeah, that's, that's I guess, why they would be in C. These two, if you have no overclocks, might as well not take them. And go no overclock, then take these. Sometimes. That's why, basically, like, this is what overclocks are made also. That's what the devs said. Um, overclocks are, like, made to, like, fulfill a purpose, like, change away the gameplay. Try something new, right? And made to, like, change your gun. But it, it's not meant to, like, make it worse. Like, if you're using these... Don't play the way you used to. You're gonna have to play around these to make them work. But it's so situation is really tiny that it's really not worth it. And these guys are just same. Like might as well not take it. You won't feel the difference. No overclock or chain hit. You won't feel much of a difference. That's why the D tier is here. And the I don't know was just like I, I haven't played them. I did didn't have any opinion at the time. But here is the Zoss tier list for all of the overclocks. There you have it, chat. I think we have a pretty good ranking. This this could be like all higher, etc. But I think we have all the explanation that we've had during the stream. Like the category of these things really feel well. So uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do leave a like if you did. I'm sorry this looked too, this long. I think I'm going to do it like uh, in, uh, in two parts. But yeah, do leave a like if you enjoyed it. Feel free to like, comment. Also, it helps out the algorithm. It helps out the channel. Subscribe and do all that shit. Check us out on, on Twitch. We're out here. Name is Zoss. The whole chat was there doing the whole time. We did this on, on live YouTube, on live Twitch. So go check it out. Really appreciate you guys. And yeah, peace out. Take care. Goodbye. Now she's